Okay, before we get too far into this vlog, I wanna say a thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is Flair & Co. I had never heard of this brand before, before they reached out to me. They blew me out of the water. They're an affordable jewelry company that is hypoallergenic and also water resistant, which is like a huge thing that I look for in my jewelry. And when I tell you they're affordable, like pieces on their website are just incredibly affordable. And I am really hard on my jewelry, so I don't like to buy super, super expensive things if I know that I'm gonna be very hard on them, but these are very, very durable and they will not turn your skin green. Like they're safe to wear in the pool all summer. They're safe to sweat in, which is the main thing that I look for in my jewelry. Like I like to wear layered necklaces, hoop earrings when I work out. It just makes me feel like cute when I'm working out. These are the little stack that I have in now. These little like hoop, they're like oval hoops. I think they're so fun and like a little different than just like a traditional hoop. The chain, you know, I'm a big sucker for like a chain earring and I think the little green stud is so cute. These little like triple studs, I think they're so freaking cute. I just love this stack right now. Like it just looks so fun and like summery. They have over 200 pieces on their website. Like it took me so long to dive, really dive in all their pieces because they had so much, but I want to show you what I ended up getting. This chain, I love a good chunky chain and this one is just like so, so freaking cute. That is so cute. That is so cute. I love it. Okay, this next one I got to be like an everyday necklace. <gasps> Look at it. It's a little H for Holbeck. I was like, this is so cute. I tried it on for Bronson. I like walked out there wearing it and he was like, oh, I love it. I feel like I could wear this one more as like a little choker like this. Yeah, like that's really cute. Is this little like emerald? I thought this would be fun with like layering for bikinis. Like I thought when we go to the beach, this will be like the perfect little layering necklace. Yeah, like that is so cute. I love pairing a chain with like something of like a pendant. I think that looks really, really good together. And then the last two things I got, these pair of earrings. I thought these were so stinking cute. And I'm trying to switch up from doing like a basic hoop every day because I basically wear hoops like every single day. So I'm like, okay, you can't just wear like basic hoops. You can switch them up with different shapes. Those are really cute. That's so fun. Okay, and then the last pair are these little hoops and they have like a little diamond accent. I thought that these could be cute if I wanted to wear like a double hoops, like for my second hole. I thought that these would be like a really nice little touch. If you wanna get 15% off your first purchase from Flair & Co, you can go to flareaccessories.com slash Kylie and my code Kylie will get you 15% off. So highly recommend, they have so many cute pieces on there that are like perfect for summer. No. Mango. No. That we have the infrastructure and we have. I think I'm gonna wear. Oh, dude. Wait, that might be a game changer for me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Hi, hi, hi! We were gone for so long! Hi, 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 hi! Come Mr. here! Mr. Bean 6000! Oh, oh. Good morning, y'all! And welcome back to my channel! We just did our long run. It's Saturday and we did 10 miles. We are in the section of the program where we just hit double digits and it was so hard. Yesterday we did four and I honestly felt so good. Like I was like, I am feeling amazing during these four. But for some reason today it was just like so hard. But anyways, we just got home. Here's the outfit of the day. These leggings are older Gymshark, I believe. And then this is a Lululemon bra and a little Lululemon pouchy pouchy. Um, I love this thing. It carries like my little headphones, my wallet, just like everything I need. And then I went and got a vitamin water because I was like, I need some electrolytes. You do not poop in the house. Did she poop? A little poop. <gasps> Mango. You go outside. Tell her dad. I'll take her out you clean the poop. Oh, that's not fair. <gasps> Sorry, you guys probably didn't want to see the poop on the ground, but you know what? That is our life right now. Potty training is a lot. 
it's been rough with her. She is not, she, I don't know. Some days are better than others. Like some days she's like amazing. And then other days she has like five accidents in the house. So if you have any potty training tips, let us know. I think partially is we kind of stopped crate training and I think that is a big part of it. We let her sleep in the bed with us. However, I will say she was pottying in the crate every single time, like every night she would potty in the crate. Even when we take her out in the middle of the night, but she basically like sleeps through the night and has not had a single accident when she She's like sleeping with us. So I'm like, if that is working better, I don't mind because she's gonna sleep with us eventually. Um, today is just a, a little weekend in my life. I think we're gonna do some housework today. We are going out of town for 4th of July. And then as soon as we get back, the front room is getting the closet system put in. I'm so excited. I'm so ready for that. I've ordered all the hangers, like everything is just here and it's ready to organize. So I'm so excited about that. But there's those built-ins on the one side, like the closet system's going on this side and then the built-ins are on this side. We basically need to like rip all that out. Like we're gonna tear it all out cause it's gonna give us an extra foot of space on that side of the room. And we can push the couch back. I might want to do like a funky wallpaper or something and then like two little nightstands in there. It's gonna be cool. But basically we just really need to like get to work doing like the actual housework part. So just got out of the shower. I'm feeling a lot cleaner. I just feel better. I feel better when I'm clean. I did want to tell you guys about this new skincare that I'm using. It's amazing. Okay, so I think I told my Instagram story. Maybe I told you guys here, but I was using the hormonal supplement for all these like little textures on my my skin. They've gotten a lot better, but I definitely still have some. Like I just popped that one. But like I have all this texture around my chin and I'm so self-conscious of it because like it shows when I have makeup on, it shows in the sunlight. It's just so bad. And so I heard really good things about Clear Stim and this is like, I'm not affiliated with them at all or anything. I just literally bought their hormonal supplement. I've taken one whole thing and I just reordered my second bottle. And the first one has helped so much. Like I feel like this has gone down a lot. They're not as red, they're not as inflamed. And I don't get them as often so I'm hoping with the second bottle it'll like start to clear up. I posted on my story and I got so many DMs that were like Th this company is amazing like you literally need every product so of course what did I do? I went and bought their gentle cleanser and I really like it so far. It's like just really good ingredients and like it feels really natural but like my skin still feels like really clean and then I didn't get their moisturizer but I've heard like phenomenal things so I will probably order that too but I got their bounce back serum which is more for like aging not for acne and I pair this with Clarity Serum, which is for acne. I swear I used all three products one night and I woke up the next morning and I was like, my skin looks like vibrant and like no red marks. It was just crazy. I was like, okay, I'm definitely gonna continue to use this and see if I like see a big difference. But like even after one night, I was like, yeah, that's awesome. Anyways, it's so weird because I've like never struggled with acne like until post college, which was like very strange to me because I figured like, I know I sweat a lot now and like I work out a lot now, but like in college, I would like have soccer practice in the morning and then go to class all day and just like be sweaty and like live in sweat. And I feel like my skin was so clear all throughout college that it like, it, then I got acne after college. And I don't know if it's the water here. Honestly, that was my first thought. Cause it was like right when I moved to Dallas and I was like, okay, obviously the water or something is weird here. But like, I don't know, it's so, it's so strange because ever since we moved here, post-college, like, so this has been like four years, I feel like my skin has just been getting worse and worse, like, I don't know. So I'm really trying to just like dive in and like look at what I'm eating in my diet and make sure that there's nothing there that could be the problem. And then also trying out a little more gentle of skincare along with those supplements because I'm like, a lot of this could probably be coming from within. Okay, I really like this brand. So I can link them in the description if you want. I'll link this exact stuff that I have. Yeah, I really, I'm, I'm feeling like more confident about it. I am gonna try and start doing like microneedling and PRP because I've heard good things about that too. I'm gonna get ready for the day. Okay, I'm gonna make probably the easiest breakfast sandwich on planet earth. I'm so hungry and I want something that's like high in protein. And so I'm gonna use, we have one English muffin left. I'm gonna use that. And then I'm gonna use this little chicken breast. And then I'm gonna use these egg whites. And I will say, I'm not sure it's the most nutritionally best thing because I'm about to cook these eggs in the microwave and I think that that's like not good to do, but you know what? It's okay. I just want something quick and easy and I just want to get it over with, so. But we have these little baby bowls and it makes like the most perfect little egg shape in there. And so I just use these and it's so easy. I'm gonna do about that much egg whites. And then you literally just put it in the microwave. I usually 
usually do like a minute 30. That's usually like plenty of time. Kind of depends on how much eggs you use, but that's what I'm gonna do. And then while that's cooking, let's get out a plate. Oh, I have to toast this, I forgot. Just do a little baby toast. Okay, I've recently become re-obsessed with truff hot sauce. It's just so good. Like something about it, I'm not kidding. I say this every time, I literally could drink this stuff. Like it's so good. Like it's definitely spicy, but it's like a sweeter spicy, if that makes sense. So, so I'm just gonna put that and it's literally like four ingredients and it's the easiest breakfast sandwich on the planet. I try and kind of recreate the Starbucks egg white one. It's pretty much the same thing. Then it just makes like the perfect little egg patty. I don't know, for breakfast sandwiches, I like to do it in the microwave just cause it makes it in this perfect shape. I probably could get like an egg mold or something to put on the pan, but you know, this is the lazy girl breakfast this morning. We're gonna do a little bit of truff all over that. Little egg white patty. Are you, are you kidding me? Look at how perfectly plump that is. It's literally perfect. And then I usually put like anywhere from like three to five pieces of lunch meat. If you wanna like go through and like cook turkey bacon and stuff, that's like really delicious too. And that's like more like the Starbucks one, but this is just a little easy sandwich. I forgot, you guys haven't had breakfast yet. We need to give you guys some breakfast, huh? Don't show me. Why? I'm like skibbies. You're in shorts. Some for the puppy and a big scoop for Mr. Bean. Hey, you guys hungry? There you go. Yeah. <sighs> we just woke up from a nap. You just woke up from a nap. You also just woke up from a nap. He woke up like 10 minutes before me and acts like, oh, I've been up for so long. Anyways, that was needed. That was literally so needed. Um, but while we were asleep, guess what got delivered? Listen, I'm not gonna sit here and say this was a necessary purchase. However, I'm very excited. Um, I wanted to try a new pair of running shoes. They are carbon plated as well. All of our friends rave about these ones. These are sick. Wow, I'm so excited about these. I think I might save these, like only run in them a few times and like save them for race day. Just training my other ones, but they're so light. Oh my gosh, they're literally like air. Essentially, they're like really similar to Alpha Flies. I don't really know the difference, but I know that Alpha Flies have this little like hole in the middle, but our friends Spencer and Paige, they both have Vapor Flies and they're like, these are way better than Alpha Flies. <laughs> We just had Flower Child delivered on DoorDash and I got the Mother Earth bowl. It looks so freaking good. And then I also, very random, but I got the Rose Lemonade. I have never had it before. I just saw it on their website and I was like, yeah, that looks good. What'd you get? I got steak, quinoa corn, the best corn, and mac and cheese. Mm. Oh yeah, and then extra side of steak. I'm gonna do a little taste test of this lemonade. The rose is what's throwing me off. I'm like, what? what is that? It's like not sweet at all. Kind of tastes like lemon water. But I mean, it is refreshing. It's, I kind of like that it's not that sweet. Hmm, that's nice. It's not too bad. It's just not like a sweet lemonade. Oh. Cold on my tooth. It has chicken, sweet potatoes, avocado, pesto, cucumber, I think, and arugula. It's really freaking good. So if you go there, highly recommend this bowl. There's a lot of food, which I appreciate. Dogs! Okay, so we are going to get started on this room. I don't know what was the last update I gave you guys, but container store came out and we bought, basically this whole wall is gonna be closet wall, essentially. And then we're gonna put this couch, which is like a sleeper sofa here. But this wall is basically like old built-ins that like the old owners just, I don't know, they put it in themselves. And so it's like, I don't know, we're gonna rip it all out. But luckily there is sheetrock behind this. So we're gonna try and salvage that and then just rip out these because we want this extra foot of space to be able to like push and Mind make the room a little bigger. So I have to like go through all this camera equipment, just organize everything. A bunch of this stuff is just <sighs> clutter. It's basically just all clutter. So I need to like get rid of a lot of stuff, downsize, figure out my camera situation. And uh, yeah, it's just a mess right now, but container store will be coming in like three weeks to like put this in. So this needs to be done. So that's kind of what we're doing today. Can, can I do the first one? Thank you. Can I do it over here? Whatever you want. This is gonna be messy. Look at how she's laying. Look at her back legs. I can't. The amount of photos I have of her literally. Mango, stop, please. No, come here. Uh-uh. No more biting your brother. No more biting your brother. Sky jail. You have to stay up here with mom. She's just so sweet and sour. Ranger, 
He is like, save me, why'd you get her, guys? I'm so sorry, run. You're such a dad. Yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> This is definitely gonna be a lot of work, but I'm hoping it's only like a one day project. I'm hoping it doesn't like bleed into the week, which you know, knowing us, it probably will. I'm excited because I probably won't get to it in this vlog. We'll probably just demo it and hopefully the sheetrock behind is okay. But this week I wanna try and like do the whole like coming to life, either painting or wallpapering or doing something on this wall. So I'll vlog that. I might do a week in my life this week, which I haven't done a week in my life in a long time. I've just been doing like day in my life. So I might start that on Monday. Okay, update. They really built this whole thing themselves. That's insane. There's drywall behind here. Whoa! They literally did drywall and drywall. Oh my god, that is such good news. Yay! Oh my gosh, yay. This makes me so happy. Looks good though, babe. Good job. Thanks. This box has been sitting in there. I thought it was hangers for like ever. Turns out it was not hangers. It was this trunk that I ordered. There was like these really expensive trunks on, I don't even know what the website is called, but they're for all of your wedding stuff. Cause it's like when you're done with your wedding dress, when you're done with your bow books, when you're done with like all these special little details that you want to keep, it's hard to like think about where to put them, just to like put them in a box somewhere. So this is just like a special little white trunk that you can like put your things in. And... Anyways, it came in and I'm so excited because now I can finally like do something with all my wedding stuff that's just been like sitting around. But I ordered this one on Amazon instead of ordering from that company because that company is so expensive. Like one trunk was like 300 bucks and it's like a little tiny trunk. And I was like, no, thank you. I had to get like a set of two because that's all I had. But I was like, one can be for like Bronson's tux and stuff and one can be for mine. I think it was like a hundred bucks, which is like still expensive, but oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh wait, this is like the perfect size. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this. It's so cute. I literally love them. This is like exactly what I was wanting and it didn't break the bank. So very pleased with this. Okay, vlog. We have made some progress, baby. It's just so messy, but we've got it almost all done. Like there's just kind of the framing left and then we got this little part out here left. We filled up this box, this box with stuff and then we brought our dumpsters and like put them on the front porch and just like threw stuff in them. But it's really coming together and this room feels so much bigger now. Like in this little corner alone, you can kind of tell like how much space it really gave us. That crack is gonna be a problem. There's definitely like some damage to the drywall and we're gonna have to figure that out, but it gave us that much more space in the room and I feel like that's a big deal because this room is like not very big in general, but I'm very excited. I'm very pleased. We've only been doing this for like three hours. So like we've made a lot of progress for that. We did make dinner reservations in like a little over two hours to go have dinner at Georgie's tonight. So I, I might have to start getting ready soon. We might have to push this project to tomorrow or like an hour and a half is when our dinner reservations are. I'm seeing this outfit like totally on. These jeans are from Abercrombie. I love them, they fit so nicely. This top is from Revolve, and I love it. It's like a little switch up on a tube top, it's very fun. And then these little mules are from Zara. And then my bracelets this one's from Amazon, and this one's from Flair and Co. And my earrings are also from Flair and Co. Oh, wow. I don't really have bangs right now, but like it's nice. I love the rollers to give me some volume. Hi babies. I want to be in the vlog. I want to be in the vlog too. Here's the fit. Date night. Get you the all black fit. Here we go. You. Okay, 
Hey, I'm ready for church. I just got ready super quickly. I did not want to wear that much makeup today, so I just did like a tinted moisturizer and then just like a little bit of like cream bronzer and blush. I just, I don't know. I didn't really want to do my eyes because taking off mascara is the worst. The worst thing ever. I was going very casual and I feel like that is what this is giving, is casual. These are just some trousers from Abercrombie. They have like the best trousers ever. I love how high-waisted they are and they're long, so I love these. And then this t-shirt is from Cuts. Cuts makes like the most amazing basics. Like I just love the quality of it. Like you can't see through anything and then it like is cropped at the perfect length to where you can like tuck it in to a shirt and there's not like too much hanging out the back. And then lastly, I just have these little grandpa New Balances on and that's the whole fit. We're letting the dogs pee first and then I'm gonna see if Bronson wants to get a little coffee with me this morning. <gasps> so humid oh my gosh texas is like crazy hot right now like crazy hot crazy humid and so it just like bugged out my camera but hey bronson you want to get la la land before oh yeah okay do you want me to order it okay sweet i'll order it that is so good French toast latte with almond milk. The best thing. The best thing. You gotta try it if you go to La La Land. Hi, we just got home from church and the message today was so good. It was just such a good message. I really feel like it's very much spoke to me. Also, we sat front row, which we have never done before, but when we were walking, like looking for seats, like the lady who was seating people was like, do you guys wanna sit front row? Like front row? And I was like, I've sat front row before. I'm like intimidated, kind of, I don't know. But we sat front row and it was really cool. It was cool to be out close. But the message today essentially was just like a really good reminder about like how good and majestic and like great and holy God is. I think we forget that sometimes, like how God literally built the entire earth just by speaking. And it was just like a really good reminder. And also that like nothing we can ever do on earth or any possession, any position of power like compares to the greatness of God. So I don't know, if you guys wanna to listen to the message, I'll link it below. Um, we go to Shoreline City and it's just, the church is phenomenal. Like we love Pastor Earl, he's amazing. And like everyone there is so welcoming. But anyways, Happy Sunday, we have a much to do. Um, essentially, we are trying to finish this freaking room. Like it's still, I just wanna be able to like clean it and it just be done. It's still very, very crazy, but we only have like a few more two by fours or whatever these are. We only have a few more to unscrew and then we're totally done. And then I'm gonna work on figuring out what I wanna do here and then we can clean up and get rid of all this stuff. And we're gonna have to figure out where to take all the trash because there is a ton. But I think I'm gonna end off this vlog here. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. But in the next vlog, hopefully you guys will see me making some progress on this room because we have to do that before we go out of town. So I need to get some stuff done. I also want to take you to the back house uh, in the next vlog because we're gonna make that into kind of like an office space. I need to do that next vlog and I, there's gonna be like a bunch of things I need to get and set up and get the space ready and anyways I just gotta get organized so the next vlog will be some big things happening so that's exciting but I love y'all and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.